Hey everyone, um, welcome to GCSEMapsGlide.com. Um, today we're going to look at fractions and um, we're going to look at the meaning of numerator and denominator. Uh, we're also going to look at how to represent a fraction using a diagram. And finally, we're going to look at equivalent fractions. Okay, so uh, <coughs> uh, let's go ahead and uh, take a look at some examples. Um, all right, so first of all, uh, before we get started, what do we mean by uh, a fraction? A lot of people get confused with fractions because they don't really understand what we do with it, etc. So, um, let me just introduce you to fractions very briefly. Um, when we're looking at fractions, so let's say we had something like um, 2 over 4. Um, the top number is called the numerator. Uh, and the bottom number is called the denominator. Okay, um, so it's just um, names that you have to remember, okay? Um, so, <clears throat> when you have a fraction, um, how can you represent it using a diagram? Now I'm going to take some um, shapes and I'm going to show you what I mean. Uh, let's just uh, take a circle. Now here's a circle, nice big circle. Um, if you're trying to represent a fraction using a diagram, uh, what you need to be aware of is that you have to make sure uh, you split up the shape in equal parts. You can't just have um, uh, stuff like that. Let's say you had something like uh, you can't just split it up here and then there and then there uh, because all the parts are not equal. What you need to do is make sure that they're all equal. All right. So um, to do that, um, let's uh, have a look at an easy example so let's say you wanted to split up this shape uh, right in the middle here oops sorry my bad let's say you wanted to split up that shape and you split it up right through the middle as you can see here I've got two equal parts and um, I could just write that as um, if, if for instance I wanted to write a fraction using uh, this shape and I just wanted this side here uh, let's use a bit, bit of blue. Um, so just this bit here. Um, then I would say it's um, one part out of the two parts that I have. Okay, because I've split up the shape into two parts, two equal parts. Let's take a look at another shape. Um, let's say you had something like um, uh, let's make a square, easy, easy shape. So here's a shape, and uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to split it up again into equal parts, hopefully. Uh, and there I split it up into four equal parts. And um, and uh, I shade in uh, this side here, and that side there. How do I write it as a fraction? Well, what I could do is just write it as, because I've got two parts which is sh shaded, I can just say these two parts out of the four equal parts, so two out of four. Okay? If I was to shade in a third part, then that would become three out of four. I hope that's making sense, yeah? Um, yeah, so that's what basically fractions are. You can just sort of um, divide things into equal parts and just sort of say how much you have out of something. So let's say this circle here was a cake and um, you said I'm going to give you half half of the cake. So that's how you write it. Half of the cake. And um, here, let's say this is another cake, a squarish cake, and you're going to give three parts away. And basically when you're when you're sharing cakes, you want to make sure that you've got equal parts and you, you're not being too greedy. <laughs> um, and uh, you're giving equal parts to everyone, to your friends or whatsoever. Uh, then you, you can say that if you split up into four parts um, and you've given three parts away, then you can say it's three quarters of the cake that's give, uh, that's been given up. Okay? Alright, now. Uh, so the last thing now is to look at um, equivalent fraction. So what do you understand by equivalent fraction? Well, equivalent fraction is... Um, Another way of writing um, a fraction which is the same. So, uh, in other words, so let's say for instance I had something like um, two out of four, uh, and um, as we've done before, um, let's say we had a, um, a square. Um, two out of four 
if I split up into four equal parts, then uh, it will look like um, something like that. Yeah, just about. Um, let's move that line a little bit down. Yeah, so two out of four would be two squares shaded, isn't it? So that or that, whichever two. All right, so that's two out of four. So how could I find an equivalent fraction? Well, well one easy technique that I use is basically, um, so I've got two over four and I want to find an equivalent fraction. What I can do is just um, times this by two at the bottom. So that becomes eight. And uh, if I times the top by two as well, then it becomes four. And uh, let me explain to you why they are equivalent, why they are the same. Well, again, I'm going to draw the same square again, and instead of splitting up into four parts, I'm going to split it up into eight equal parts now. Okay? Um, so let's go ahead and try to do that. Um, so let's take that shape um, and duplicate it somehow. Uh, duplicate, yeah, there you go. And there you go, I've got another shape which is exactly the same. And what I'm going to do now, I'm going to um, split it up. Instead of four parts, I'm going to split it up into eight parts. And you're going to see that it's the same amount that I've, um, I'm going to highlight. Okay? Uh, so let's see, where's the line again to split things up? Um, ooh, I can't find it anyway. Alright, so let's just say I wanted to split this up into eight equal parts. How could I do this? Um, that's four. So let's split up here. That's, oh, my line is not selected. Alright, where is it? Where is it? Uh, da -da -da. Here. I got it. Alright, so let's split up here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and there. So use that line just about here. Now I know it's not uh, perfect, okay. But the whole idea is to show you that now, if I shade in four parts out of the eight parts that I've got here, it's going to be pretty much the same as the uh, the original one. Okay, so uh, let's take a look. Let's see um, so here I, I, I shaded two big squares like so so I'm going to do the same thing here yeah so two big squares so I'm gonna to try to make it look like the same as that one uh, and there and um, and what you can see here is on that square I had four equal sides four equals uh, four equal the squares and on this one here I've got well eight equal rectangles shall we say and you can see that I've highlighted the same amount as that one as that one and um, you'll notice that here I've got four rectangles here I've got two squares uh, but they're pretty much the same so basically those two are equivalent fractions as my diagram there okay I hope it's making sense uh, I know I'm rumbling on a little bit um, but I hope it's making sense so that's a quick trick of actually figuring out um, an equivalent fraction. Let's take a look at another example. Let's say we had something like um, 4 over 3. And a lot, I've seen a lot of questions on the GCSE exam where uh, they give you something like that and they give you another number like that and you have to figure out the top number. So how would you do this? Well, very easy. You look at the 3 and you ask yourself how much would you multiply the 3 by to make it into 12. And I know for a fact 4 times 3 is equal to 12. So I'm going to do exactly the same thing for the top one. So I'm going to multiply this by 4. And 4 times 4 is 16. So this means that 16 over 12 is the same fraction or an equivalent fraction to 4 over 3. Uh, let's take a look at another one. Um, 14 over, shall we say, 7 uh, is the same thing as what? Well, uh, let's make that into... 21 yeah so again how much is 7 times what is equal to 21 well it could be 7 times 3 right because 7 times 3 is 21 so how much would 14 times 3 be equal to uh, if you can't do it by head 
don't worry you can always do the calculation on the side so like so just do a simple multiplication 4 times 3 is 12 carry the 1 3 times 1 is 3 plus 1 is the 4 so that's 42 so come here and write the 42 yeah um, let me give you one more example where you have to divide um, this time so um, let's say you have something like um, 20 over 14 and um, the question says to you okay find me um, 10 over something yeah that missing number where is it well to do that you're gonna ask yourself well from 20 to 10 what operation did I perform here well I've obviously divided by by 2 so I'm gonna divide the bottom number by 2 as well so we end up with 20 over 14 is the same as 10 over 14 divided by 2 is 7 now you should have noticed that when you're finding so make note of that um, only multiply or divide when you try to find equivalent fraction yeah so you're not allowed to add or subtract you can only um, multiply or divide to find equivalent fractions okay well I hope that makes sense and uh, if you have any questions uh, do leave your comments uh, on the comment box below and uh, if you've enjoyed the video as usual um, don't forget to click the like button and share it with your friends okay then i'll see you in another video guys um, take care bye